Tenetosaurus. Tenetosaurus, slash dendosaurus slash tenontosaurus, meaning sinew lizard, is a genus of medium to large-sized ornithopod dinosaur. The genus is known from the late Aptian to Albion ages of the Middle Cretaceous period sediments of western North America, dating between 115 and 108 million years ago. The genus contains two species, Tenonosaurus tileti, described by John Ostrom in 1970, and Tenonosaurus dosi, described by Winkler, Murray, and Jacobs in 1997. Many specimens of D. tileti have been collected from several geological formations throughout western North America. Key dosi is known from only a handful of specimens collected from the Twin Mountains formation of Parker County, Texas. Description It was about 6.5 to 8 meters, 21 to 26 feet, long and 3 meters, 10 feet, high in a bipedal stance, with a mass of somewhere between 1 to 2 tons, 1 to 2 short tons. It had an unusually long, broad tail, which like its back was stiffened with a network of bony tendons. Dot. History the first Tenetosaurus fossil was found in Bighorn County, Montana by an American Museum of Natural History AMNH, expedition in 1903. Subsequent digs in the same area during the 1930s unearthed 18 more specimens, and four specimens were found during the 1940s. Despite the large number of fossil specimens, the animal was not named or scientifically described during this time, though Barnum Brown of the AMNH gave it the informal name Tenetosaurus, sinew lizard, in reference to the extensive system of stiffening tendons in its back and tail. During the 1960s, Yale University began an extensive, long-term dig in the Bighorn Basin area, Cloverly Formation, of Montana and Wyoming. The expedition was led by John Ostrom, whose team discovered more than 40 new specimens. Following his expedition, Ostrom became the first to describe and name the animal, calling it Denitosaurus, a slight variation in spelling of Brown's informal name. Since 1970, many more Tenetosaurus specimens have been reported, both from the Cloverly and other geological formations, including the Antlers Formation in Oklahoma, Paluxy Formation of Texas, Wayan Formation of Idaho, Cedar Mountain Formation of Utah, and Arundel Formation of Maryland. Dot. Classification The cladogram below follows an analysis by Butler et al., 2011. Paleobiology Diet Plant life in the Tenonosaurus ecosystem was likely dominated by ferns and tree ferns, cycads, and possibly primitive flowering plants. Larger plants and trees were represented by gymnosperms, such as conifer and ginkgo trees. Tenonosaurus was a low browser, and an adult would have had a maximum browsing height of about 3 meters, 10 feet, if it adopted a bipedal stance. This restricted Tenonosaurus, especially juveniles, to eating low-growing ferns and shrubs. It's powerful. U-shaped beak and the angled cutting surfaces of its teeth, however, meant it was not limited to which part of the plant it consumed. Leaves, wood, and even fruit may have formed part of its diet. Predators Teeth and a number of skeletons belonging to the carnivorous theropod Deinonychus have often been discovered associated with Tenentosaurus tileti remains. Tenentosaurus specimens have been found at over 50 sites, and 14 of those also contain Deinonychus remains. Dot according to one 1995 study, only six sites containing Deinonychus fossils contain no trace of Tenetosaurus, and Deinonychus remains are only rarely found associated with other potential prey, like Sorpelta. In all, 20% of Tenetosaurus fossils are found in close proximity to Deinonychus, and several scientists have suggested that this implies Deinonychus was the major predator of Tenetosaurus. Adult Deinonychus, however, were much smaller than adult Tenetosaurus, and it is unlikely a single Deinonychus would have been capable of attacking a fully grown Tenetosaurus. While some scientists have suggested that Deinonychus must therefore have been a pack hunter, this view has been challenged based on both a supposed lack of evidence for coordinated hunting, rather than mobbing behavior as in most modern birds and reptiles, though crocodilians have been documented to hunt cooperatively on occasion, as well as evidence that Deinonychus may have been cannibalizing each other, as well as the Tenetosaurus, in a feeding frenzy. It is likely that Deinonychus favored juvenile Tenetosaurus, and that when Tenetosaurus reached a certain size, it passed out of range as a food source for the small theropods, though they may have scavenged larger individuals. The fact that most Tenetosaurus remains found with Deinonychus or half-grown individuals supports this view. It also lived in the same area as the large carnivorous dinosaur Acrocanthosaurus. Reproduction The presence of medullary bone tissue in the thigh bone and shin bone of one specimen indicates that Tenetosaurus used this tissue, today only found in birds that are laying eggs, in reproduction. Additionally, like Duranosaurus and Allosaurus, 
two other dinosaurs known to have produced medullary bone, the Tenetosaur individual was not at full adult size upon her death at 8 years old. Because the theropod line of dinosaurs that includes Allosaurus and Tyrannosaurus diverged from the line that led to Tenenosaurus very early in the evolution of dinosaurs, this suggests that dinosaurs in general produced medullary tissue and reached reproductive maturity before maximum size. A histological study showed that D. Teleti grew quickly early in life and during subadult ontogeny, but grew very slowly in the years approaching maturity, unlike other iguanodontians. Paleoecology Throughout the Cloverly Formation, Tenetosaurus is by far the most common vertebrate, five times more abundant than the next most common, the Ankylosaurus or Pelta. In the arid little sheep mudstone member, Tenetosaurus is the only herbivorous dinosaur, and it shared its environment with the common predator Deinonychus as well as an indeterminate species of Allosauroid theropod and goniopholid crocodile. After the major climate shift at the beginning of the Himes member in the Mid-Albion Age, several more dinosaurs entered the region, including the less common ornithopod Zephyrosaurus the Oviraptorus or Microvenator, and an indeterminate species of Titanosauriform sauropod and ornithomimid. The ecological community in the tropical stage also included the small mammal Gobiconodon, turtles such as Gliptops, and species of lungfish. The ecological community was similar in other regions, with dinosaurs like Tenonosaurus and Deinonychus as the most common large vertebrates. The antlers formation stretches from southwest Arkansas through southeastern Oklahoma and into northeastern Texas. This geological formation has not been dated radiometrically. Scientists have used biostratigraphic data and the fact that it shares several of the same genera as the Trinity Group of Texas, to surmise that this formation was laid down during the Albion stage of the early Cretaceous period, approximately 110 Maya. The area preserved in this formation was a large floodplain that drained into a shallow inland sea. Several million years later, this sea would expand to the north, becoming the Western Interior Seaway and dividing North America in two for nearly the entire Late Cretaceous period. The paleo-environment of the Antlers Formation consisted of tropical or subtropical forests, floodplains, river deltas, coastal swamps, bayous and lagoons, probably similar to that of modern-day Louisiana. Died in the Antlers Formation in what is now Oklahoma, Tenonosaurus and Deinonychus shared their paleo-environment with other dinosaurs, such as the sauropods Astrodon. Plorocelis, and Sauropocidon protolus, and the Carnosaur Acrocanthosaurus atokensis, which was likely the apex predator in this region. The most common dinosaur in the paleo environment preserved in this formation is Denonosaurus. Other vertebrates present at the time of Tenonosaurus included the amphibian Albanorpetan arthridion, the reptiles Zetokosaurus metrosiodon and Tilodidon wilsoni, the Cruroterzin reptile Bernicertia, the cartilaginous fish Hybatus butarian lycidus anidae the raffin fish Gyronca stumle, the crocodilian goniophilus, and the turtles Gliptops and Neomycheles. Possible indeterminate bird remains are also known from the antlers formation. The fossil evidence suggests that the Garlepisosteus was the most common vertebrate in this region. The early mammals known from this region include Adocotherium borini and Parasimexamis crossi. Climate In the cloverly formation of Montana and Wyoming, Tenontosaurus remains are common in two distinct rock units, the more ancient little sheep mudstone member, Cloverly Formation Unit V, and the more recent Himes member, Units 6 and 7. The oldest part of the formation, the prior conglomerate, contains no Tenontosaurus fossils, and they only appear in the uppermost, most recent part of the little sheep mudstone member. Catherine Forster, in a 1984 paper on the ecology of Tenontosaurus, used this as evidence to suggest that Tenontosaurus populations did not arrive in the Bighorn Basin area until the time of the late Little Sheep Mudstone member. At the time Tenontosaurus first appeared in Wyoming and Montana, the early Albion Age, the region's climate was arid to semi-arid, dry, with seasonal periods of rainfall and occasional droughts. However, during a period of a few million years, the climate in the region shifted to one of increased rainfall and the environment became subtropical to tropical, with river deltas, floodplains, and forests with swampy inlets reminiscent of modern Louisiana, though marked dry seasons persisted to create savanna-like environments as well. The change in rainfall levels is likely due to the advancing shoreline of the Skull Creek Seaway, a cycle of the Western Interior Seaway which, later in the Cretaceous period, would completely divide North America. This dramatic shift in climate coincided with an apparent increase, rather than decrease, in the abundance of Tenonosaurus. This shows Tenonosaurus to have been a remarkably adaptable animal, which persisted for a long span of time in one area despite changes to its environment. 